I worked at Stanford for about 10 years uh, as a professor in the material science department. Uh, and I got kind of intrigued in the semiconductor industry for one very simple reason. It took a very, very short time for an idea to turn into a product to go into the marketplace. The semiconductor industry was just growing and rapid introduction of new products. It seemed like every week there was a new product, new introduction into the marketplace. And I just loved that rapid pace. It just was so exciting. So when I had the opportunity to uh, go to Intel, to leave academia and go into the commercial sector, uh, I immediately wanted to go into an area where you could have a big impact in a short period of time. And if you can imagine Moore's law holding an empirical law, an observation, not a true physical law, but an observation being the roadmap for an industry for 50 years, doubling every 18 months, that doubling doesn't happen just by happenstance. It happens by thousands of smart engineers solving very, very difficult problems at the microscopic level. I mean, you're not just sitting in a lab tinkering with test tubes. You're creating things which change the way people work, the way they learn, the way they play, the way they communicate, the way they live their life. I think if you look at what has happened to the world in the last 30 or 40 years, with the advent of the personal computer, the advent of the internet, the advent of being able to communicate with anybody or anything at any time, to access any bit of information, to give humanity that capability. I mean, what could be more exciting than that? 